premise is, oh my god, there's an axe in my head, the game of international diplomacy. Uh, the premise of the game is you play one of, uh, one of the delegates of the six great powers of the time at the inaugural meeting of the League of Nations in 1920. Now the Swiss, who are proud to host this august body of world leaders, have hired their finest axe throwing troop to entertain you as you conclude the day's business of uh, conducting treaties with other players and claiming ownership of territories. However, the axe throwers have gone completely mad and started throwing their axes into the audience chamber, splitting skulls and causing a panic. So the goal of the game is to get your ambassador, translator and bodyguard out of the chamber to safety while with the, the decorum that befits uh, an ambassador of the, of the time, uh, conducting as much business as possible and of course backstabbing the other players. Uh, have had this, uh, the current prototype out for about three years and we're running it at a lot of conventions largely on the East Coast. So check our uh, Board Game Geek page. Uh, just do a search on Board Game Geek for, oh my god, there's an axe in my head, and we're pretty much the only game that has that title. Play tests of like alpha versions for about a year, year and a half. I uh, went to a lot of conventions and just tested it and took notes and kept changing it. And uh, yeah, after that, we, we built the final prototype, and, and the rules have been pretty much set as they are. Because uh, we've, we've had this one out for about three years until we finally found a publisher. Um, and just uh, don't don't get too attached to any particular rule. Like you might like a rule that seems right to you, but if it doesn't work well on a playtest, don't worry. Don't worry about checking it out and finding something new. And, and playtest, 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 and then playtest again. Uh, ours has an advantage of having a, a really cool title. So a lot of people will stop and say, "Wow, it's an interesting title. And what's the game about?" And then we, we tell them what the, the theme is and what it's about. And uh, a lot of times people want to come check it out. Things I mean, I've always liked games. Originally, uh, my, my Chris Adams, my, my partner on this, and I designed a couple of role-playing games, and we've both been a big fan of role-playing uh, board games. And in the last 10, 15 years, there's been a big influx of Euro games, you know, like Settlers of Catan and Puerto Rico and the like. Um, and those are, those are kind of an influence on us in just not not so much in directly. Uh, finding a particular rule, but in ways of thinking about games uh, as opposed to just pure strategy games, um, managing resources, varying uh, when players can take their actions and, and how that affects the balance of the game. Uh, the, the great thing about it is we can we, we have similar ways of thinking, but you know, different points of view, so we can bounce ideas off each other and come up with things that we would have never thought of on our own. Uh, but you know, occasionally, you know, we have to we will disagree on something, and we we'll usually just you know try it a couple of different ways, and whichever seems to work best is, is what we'll go with. I do uh, graphic design and illustration, as, as does Chris. He, he drew our, uh, our little mascot here, Uncle Axie Jowls. Um, uh, I put this together in Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. Uh, printed it out, got some uh, prototype materials like a board, and put it all together with uh, spray mount glue and, and uh, hand painted wooden pieces and so on.